back to Scotch and video of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu! Now here we are on part 6! Now if you haven't seen the previous episode, go check that out right now. What we did was we went through the route to get through to Vermilion City and we encountered some pretty awesome and rad mons along the way. It was pretty cool. Now in this episode we're going to be taking on Lieutenant Surge and apparently you can also receive a um, Squirtle in this town from uh, Professor Jenny... Uh, no, not Professor, sorry from Officer Jenny or something, so I'm gonna do that as well, because as you know, I you know, I did a Twitter poll and of the three starters, you know, for which of the three starters I would be using for this, um, you know, Let's Play, and Squirtle did win, so I'm gonna have to pick that up soon, otherwise, yeah, the next spot to get one is, um, in, um, apparently, uh, I think Papa's Games told me, I, apparently the next spot you get, uh, Squirtle after this is in, uh, Canabar Island, which is where the seventh gym is located, so I'm not, you know, I'm not, you know, willing to wait that long just to receive it. So, yeah, here we go, look at this. I just caught a Squirtle that was always getting into mischief. Yeah, I can, I can see that from a few episodes ago when it stole the Pokeballs. I think it needs a good trainer to see it, set it straight. Yes, I am a good trainer that can set it straight. How about I talk to you about it when you've caught at least 60 per- Oh, you- Son of a beetroot. Anyway, okay, well, I guess I have to catch 60 Pokemon, and then I'm all good, but I need to, yeah, I probably, wait, I'm pr pretty sure I can, um, I might just, uh, hold on, no, I'll go to the Pokemon first, I'll go to the Pokemon, because I need to pick up some, uh, you know, some healing items and all that jazz. Actually, hold on, how much money have I got? How much money have I got? How much money do I have? I've got, ooh, that's not great. Okay, I might hold off on the items, actually, because... I'm trying to save up for a, um, you know, a Fire Stone and a Leaf Stone because I need a Fire Stone to evolve Growlithe and apparently you can buy one for 50 grand at, um, at the second, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what the next, you know, big town is called, but apparently the next big town where there's, you know, the fourth gym is, there's a huge mall, shopping centre, where you can buy, um, you know, uh, you know, all the stones and stuff, so I have to save up for that as well, so... Here is Lieutenant Surge's gym! Apparently, yeah, it's the same as before. You have to, um... You have to, uh, check on all that, um, you know, all the bins and see if they, are, uh, You know, see if the... Which one, which one, Apparently you have to pick two bins and see which of them are correct, apparently. You have to match two bins in the right order or something. I've been waiting for you, champ, in the making. Lieutenant Surge here is the gym leader in this city. He's an expert on electric types and a real tough guy. Flying and water type Pokemon don't do well matched up against electric types. You'll also want to watch out to your watch out so your Pokemon don't get get stuck paralyzed. Yes, obviously. And here's my last tip. Lieutenant Surge is a cautious type. He's put barriers between himself and the rest of this room, so it won't be easy getting to him. Okay, so this gym had no requirements. That's weird. Okay, nope, this, this, there's no trash in here. No, it's a red trash can. Yeah, what does that mean? It's a red trash can? Yeah, what does that mean? Does that mean anything cool? Nope, there's nothing in this one. Uh, no, apparently, so I have to just check all of these and hope I find the right one, hopefully. I don't know how, like, there must be a better way to go about it, but I can't see it so far. Oh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even talk to him. No, there's nothing there. I'm going to have to talk to him. Ah, oh, Frit Loops. Okay, well, I'll talk to you, I suppose. All right, cool. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. He was a hard mouth classmaker, I think is what he said. Taskmaker, classmaker, I think is what he said. Anyway, what electric type Pokemon do you have for me, good sir? Hopefully something hard. All right, you've got Pikachu. That's, um, I've got, I've got one of those, but he's better and he's called Thunderball. So, I mean, mine is immediately better because it's nicknamed and it's obviously... It's boosted because your, um, you know, your, the Pokemon you start with is actually boosted and it has, you know, boosted stats. So my Pikachu's better than yours. There you go. There you go. There you go. Alright. Take down Bat! Alright, that should... No. Why was that so weak? What the hell? What level are your Mons? Your Mons are level 20-something else? I don't even know. I think, yeah, level 20-ish, I suppose. Well, that wasn't that good, I guess. Pick quick, quick attack from- Oh my god, James, why are you doing so much damage, man? That's so weird. Anyway, okay, well, I'll have to swap out, because, you know, you're doing a lot, and that's not good. Um, Ivysaur, Mandrake. Let's go, Mandrake, because Mandrake, you know, is very specially defensive, I believe, and can- 
take a uh, Thunderbolt or a Thundershock if, if, you know, required to do so, I suppose. Okay, but... I don't know if you... Oh, your physical defense seems pretty good as well. That's nice. Okay, cool. Um, let's go for the acid. Go for the spewer! Oh, no, you freaking frick stick! Why? Why would you go for a Thunder Wave, you absolute scumbag? <laughs> Oh, you're annoying. You are really annoying. You know that? You really know that. You should. I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's like it's stamped on your forehead. Hi there, I'm Pikachu. I'm the most annoying person anyone could ever know. That's pretty much what you are, so just accept that and just die, please. Okay, cool. How many points did you get? 117. Nice. Okay, cool. Tucker was your name, okay? That's a pretty weird name. That sounds like, you know, when someone's hungry, they say, oh, let's go get some Tucker, you know? I mean, that is a name. I know it's a name, but still. Know what I mean? It's weird how the tree respawns. Like, trees don't grow that quick. I mean, shrubs and stuff don't grow that fast, surely. But anyway, whatever. It's not like you can see the, you know, plants grow in front of you or anything. Only when you enter a uh, building and then you come out, they respawn. Oh, why am I in the Pokemon Center? I'm meant to be rehealing, not getting items. Wrong decision, Alpha Blazing. What are you doing? Hold on a minute. Let's see if we can go down this route. I wonder if we can. Yeah, we can go down this route. Oh, okay, so... I might catch some Mons, actually. Maybe I'll catch some Mons. Maybe I'll catch, um... A few Pokemon and then see, like, hey... You know, then I can get the Squirtle and then maybe I'll fight Lieutenant Surge. Maybe that's an idea. Or maybe I'll just check check out this route and see what's along it and see if I can, you know, get anything cool along it. Alright, Charmander, I've already got one of you, so that's cool. I mean, I think the reason they put this Charmander here is because they expect you to already have enough Mons to get the, uh... Squirtle to then, you know, have a water type to take on this Charmander, I believe, is probably the idea, but, I don't know, whatever. Jesus, that did a little bit. Anyway, um, what do you got, what do you got? You got Ember, oh, that's not going to be very effective, I don't know why I clicked that, I don't know what was going through my head when I decided to click that one, but, you know, whatever. I've done it now. Alright, I'm probably just going to fight this trainer and then go back, actually. I don't think there's much point, because I might just get the gym over and done with and then sort out Squirtle and all that. I think that makes a lot more sense. But I might as well just get rid of this trainer out of the way so when I do finish the gym, you know, I can just straight away just go into the route and not have to worry about anything, I suppose. Just go straight into the route without that girl just blocking my way with that easy, pesky Charmander of hers, I suppose. Hold on, what the hell is that? Oh, that's just the Psyduck, okay. That's cool. Alright, so what have we got along this route? We got anything interesting? Anything cool? Anything good at all? I don't see anything. I see, a, I see another Growlithe. Oh, that's cool. Hey, you want to be friends? Hold on, no, no, no. Growlithe, go over there, go over there. Go over there, go over there to that Growlithe. Go over there to this one. Yes! Yes, be friends! Ah! <laughs> I may as well just get all these trainers out of the way so I can just fight all of them. And then just so I can, so I can just search the bins without having to worry about, um, you know, having to worry about, you know, trainers getting in the way and just, you know, that was, it's just a big inconvenience. I may as well just fight all the trainers and then I can just search all the bins and not have anything to worry about, I suppose. Oh, you're steel type. That works out great because I'm a fire type and that's a great advantage for me. Okay, cool. Ember, use it. Go, go. But what? You're faster. Oh my god. Whatever. Oh Jesus. Hello. That did a lot of damage. Okay. Bah! Why did that do so little? What the hell? Okay. Well, at least it burned, but still, Jesus. Why is this doing? Why am I doing so little damage? What level is Growlithe? Growlithe is level what? What level is Growlithe? Oh, that would be why, because you're level 16! I didn't realize that. That would make a lot of sense. Okay, your attack rose. Okay, so Pikachu can help if I shake the remote, apparently. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on, man! Alright, well, that was cool that you got boosted, but it still isn't probably going to be enough because you're still slower, so... Yeah, now I know why you're so much weaker, because you're level 16 and everyone else is level 22. It's pretty obvious now. I should have noticed that sooner, but I guess now that I've noticed it, it's fine, I guess. Because now I know that, you know, I'm substantially weaker than the rest of the opponents I'm going up against. And, you know, the fact that I have you out front is somewhat, you know, alarming, I suppose. That was a crit! You are doing nothing if that was a crit! <laughs> oh, you are so weak. Anyway, come here. Chuck, get in the absorb. Get, get absorbed. Get absorbed. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that didn't do a lot, but it did enough to probably put me back to full, probably, maybe. No, it didn't. Okay, that's weird. 
Anyway, that's fine, alright? You're taking residual damage from the burn, that's cool. Um, Razor Leaf, let's see if that does more. And I haven't even seen the animation for Razor Leaf yet, so we're gonna, let's hope it looks cool. Alright, cool. Razor Leaf! Alright, in the old games, Razor Leaf looked a bit different. I mean, in the old games, you know, Razor Leaf had a bit more of a... Oh no, maybe that was Mystical Leaf. Maybe I'm thinking of a different move, but I'm thinking of a move where... You know, leaves, the leaves had like a weird sort of pink glow around them and then they sort of, with sort of, you know, they would sort of just move on their own like that. Almost like that animation, except they had sort of, you know, sort of purpley pink, you know, sort of a purpley pink aura emanating around them, sort of, I suppose. Anyway, let's go to the bag and um, see if we have anything to heal our friend up here, Chili Dog and uh, Mandrake, because they took a bit of a beating. Alright, yep, you're probably good for those. Oh no, you could use one more actually. Okay, cool, yep. And I think, um, yeah, super potions. I think, uh, Mandrake could use one of those. Yep, definitely. Alright, cool. Now, I shouldn't put Chili Dog out front, because obviously now that I realise that, <clears throat> it's, you know, you're so much, you know, le your level, the depth, the, blah, the level difference is just too substantial. You can't really, you know, fight your own, unfortunately, yet. So you will be able to soon, and when you become a, uh, when you become a what? When you become a Arcanine, you'll be able to hold your own even better. So it's just a little bit of a matter of time and then you'll be all good to go. Alright, cool. Voltorb. What level are you, Voltorb? Are you level like 20 something? Because if you're level 21, I should be able to fight you. But if you're any higher than that, ooh, you're level 22. I mean, that should be okay, right? I mean, I'll just, I'll just judge it. Okay, let's have a look. Super Fang. Let's we'll see if that one's going work. Okay. Oh, um. Okay, that's an option. You can just self-destruct and kill me instantly, but also kill yourself. That's definitely an option. Definitely an option. A bit of a weird one at that, but it's an option. It's definitely an option at that matter. Wait, did I live? Oh, I lived! Barely, I think, but I think I lived. Okay, that's mad. I lived on, like, you know, 2 HP or something. Alright, let's just quick attack you. You might go for another explosion, so who knows. We'll just quick attack and see what we do. No, you're going for Swift. Okay, that was interesting. Okay, one of you was just the self-destruct forder, and the other one actually decided to put up a fight. Okay, that's interesting. I like that. Um, who's the best for this? Let's go Ivysaur. Ivysaur seems like a good option. Let's go Ivysaur. See what we can do with Ivysaur now. Because Ivysaur does have a bit of, you know, he's got a bit of coverage. He can, you know, whip. Oh, no, he doesn't. I thought he had any poison. I thought he had poison moves. He doesn't. Okay, that's too bad. But he does have tackle and he's got, you know, vine whip, so that's good, I guess. Okay, Swift again. It's kind of weird the move Swift, if you think about it, just throwing stars at people, just like, you know, sharp projectile like stars at people. It's kind of weird, like. I mean, it's kind of a cool animation as well, because, you know, you just see pretty, you know, golden stars, like Christmas time, just, you know, rolling along the screen like that. It's pretty cool. Oh my god, so annoying. Anyway, I should be able to, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win, obviously, because, yeah, it's just, you know, it's inevitable, but, you know, it's still a bit annoying at times. Okay, cool. Alright, cool, I beat you. Nice, pretty easy. Time to revive my Pokemon again! Seems like there's gonna be a lot of Pokemon reviving in this episode. Anyway, let's go. Medicine, let's go. Revive, actually, because I need to do that. Go. Bah! Yep, like that. I also need to, uh, grab myself the Super Potions. I need to go like that. Also need to go like that, and then we're all good. Okay, nice. Cool, Leo. Anyone else I need to fight, or is that everybody all done and dusted? That is everyone all done and dusted. Perfect. Alright, cool. Now it's just time to check the bins and see what's where, and what we can do. Alright, no, it's all good. Hold on, there's a red and a blue one, you know, marked out. I wonder if that means something. It's a red can, and it's a tr blue trash can. What does that mean? Does that mean anything? Nope, there's no trash. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, let me give you a hint for the double barriers. After you push the first switch, you need to push the second switch right after. The two switches are adjacent to each other. Okay, so they're next to each other. I mean, there are some kids playing this game, you know, like, you know, there are probably like 10 year olds and, you know, maybe even younger playing this game. I don't think, t you know, 9 year olds know what the word adjacent means, but, you know. I guess it's good that they're giving them good vocab, I suppose. Nope, there's nothing in the trash. Nope. Uh, nope. And, uh, nope, apparently. What about here? There's a red trash can and nope. Okay. There seems to be a lot of nothing. How do I, um... This 
seems really annoying. How do I do this? Like, there doesn't seem to be a, you know, okay, I'll talk. I heard there isn't a switch in any trash cans next to the red trash can. There's none next to the red trash can, so that means that there's none here. There's none here, and there's none here. What, if, what are your hints? Are you having trouble reaching Lieutenant Surge? Why don't you check a trash can next to the blue can? Okay, that's interesting. So it's one of these two, okay. Yeah, hey, there's a switch under the trash. Let's push it. Okay, cool. There's one of them. Great, so we've unlocked half of the passage. The first electric barrier was activated. Apparently they're adjacent to each other, which means it could either be there, here, or here. Right? Okay, cool. So let's go here and see what it does. No, nope, there's nothing in the trash. Cool, that went back up. Alright, cool. Hey, the electric switch went back up because I buggered it. Yep, cool. Hey, there's something in the trash. Yep, the switch is going to go back up. So it's basically just a game of trial and error, which is fine because, you know, we also got help from the others. Hey, there's a switch. Okay, cool. Yep, push it. Great, so now we've unlocked the path to Lieutenant Surge and now the way is clear and the second barrier was... was was, I didn't even read that. <laughs> anyway, the electric barriers are completely gone now. Awesome, so now we can go and challenge Lieutenant Surge. Great, okay, cool. Lieutenant Surge, what have you got to say? Jesus, you seem pretty bulky and muscular anyway. Ten Hut, welcome to the Vermilion City Gym. Will you look at that? A pint sized challenger. Ah, you've got a big and brassy nerves to take me on with your puny power. Hey, Pokemon battle is war. I'll show you, civilian. Alright, well, we'll see about that. I'll shock you into surrender. Well, okay, we'll see about that, Mr. Mr. Surge. That's a really cool name. I like that name, Mr. Surge. The name Surge itself seems really cool. I mean, it makes sense, because obviously a surge means a drastic rise, or a drastic rise in temperature, or in, you know, just in general. And obviously with, um, you know, electricity, that's very fitting. Anyway, what level are you on? You've got a level 20... Am I reading 5? It's really weird, because my TV has a cut-off. Like, it cuts off the, like, the edges of the screen, and it really annoys me. But, anyway, that's a thing. So, I probably can't use Ratatouille for this, because, you know, you're too low-leveled, unfortunately. I'll just use Mandrake, because Mandrake seems to really, really good at taking hits and just dishing them out, too. It's just really good. Alright, Thunderbolt. If my Thunderbolt has that too, alright, cool, that did a little bit, didn't do a lot. Alright, nice, let's, um, what should we use? Let's use, um, let's use Poison Powder, actually, and lower your defenses, actually, and see what we can pull off there. Alright, cool. You decided to put up, you know, your special, oh, how did I miss? Come on, alright, we need to go for that one more time. I'm not accepting that, that was some scum, I should have hit that. Anyway, alright, cool, come on, hit him, yep, good, alright, cool, Poison Powder activated. Now Razor Leaf should be boosted because poison lowers your defenses, so I should be all good there and I should be, you know, able to um, you know, you know, do more damage with a razor leaf and just, you know, better stuff. And also, you've um put up a light screen, so special moves are gonna be even weaker, so that's not much use, so I may as well just razor leaf you and see what I can do. Yeah, that did a little bit. Alright, that's cool. Alright, nice, okay, you're probably gonna win this fight based on like, you know, health and stuff, unless I critical hit you. That's the only way you're going to actually survive this, unfortunately. I've almost unlocked all the characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and it's really weird because I've only, I only unlocked, like, a few of them on, you know, while I'm recording. But I'm definitely going to reveal, like, you know, my thoughts and, you know, gameplay of every single character that I have unlocked. And there are still some characters I haven't, but there's this special room you can go into under the Games and More section, and it, you know, it basically is called the Challenges Approach Room, and basically... You just get to refight any character you lost against, and it's really useful. So I'm going to be doing that in my next episode of um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Part 2. I haven't even uploaded Part 1 yet, which is kind of mad, but I'm going to definitely get to it, without a doubt. But I just thought I'd tell you guys that, because I'll, I'll put a card up to it. Oh, hello, that did a bit. Anyway, Poison, will that kill you or not? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't, but it did, so that's cool. Alright, nice. Alright, that, that's one mon down, another few to go. Alright, and also Pokemon, what the lights been wore off. You're about to send out a Magnemite. Alright, cool, let's um switch into uh Chili Dog and see what, what I can pull off with Chili Dog, because Chili Dog seems to be, you know, a good viable option here. Because obviously the fire type super effectiveness. 
I'm really liking, I'll tell you what characters I really love using right now in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I love using Incineroar. Incineroar's got a really cool moveset. He's, he's got an amazing moveset. If you haven't played any Super Smash Bros. Ultimate or even seen anything of it, oh, okay, well... There goes that, really quickly. Anyway, um, as I was saying, if you haven't seen any gameplay of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, uh, you can obviously check out mine, I'll put a card up to it, obviously, because when it comes out, I'll put up a card to it, as I said. Anyway, let's get off that. And, you know, what I'm saying basically is that all the moves that Incineroar has are really, really, really just, they do a lot of damage, they're really heavy, he's pretty damn slow. He's not as slow as, um, some other characters, he's, I don't think he's as slow as Bowser, or as slow as, um, Donkey Kong for that matter, but he's definitely on that level of, you know, being that slow and that, you know, sort of cumbersome, but he does a lot of damage. And his down B, his, um, you know, his, his down special is, um, Revenge, which is really cool. Because that, you know, boosts his next smash attack that he uses, and it, you know, a really cool animation pops up when he uses it as well, so it's really cool. So if you land that, you know, that boost, that revenge boosted um, smash attack, say it's a side smash, it'll really, it'll zoom in and it will make a really, you know, dramatic noise as it makes contact. It's really cool. I might actually start double teaming because I've been, oh, you've got a Raichu! Oh, jeez, that would be, um, yeah, I definitely need to start double teaming then, yeah, because, yeah, because if you're, um, using, yeah, a Raichu, you've definitely just got more ups over me, and that's just annoying and stuff, so I just gotta start double teaming and getting evasiveness to go well for me. How did that hit? If you're, okay, that's a bit bizarre, that is a little bit weird, but okay, I mean, you are a Raichu, I mean, you don't have any particular... How are you hitting me? I'm using double team! Why are you still hitting, you stupid rat? Anyway, whatever. That is just dumb. Anyway, I don't understand that. When I last used double team as well, I think it was on a Pidgeot. I think it was using wing attack on me. It still kept hitting. What is it with double team? Is it being deemed useless or something? Or does everyone run that that item in the meta game where you always land or something? You know that weapon, you know? You know that there's, I think there's a, um, an item called a something lens and it boosts your accuracy a lot. I don't know what it's called, but it seems like everybody wants to run that item nowadays. Because everybody keeps on, keep, keeps on hitting me even after three double teams. That's ridiculous. Anyway, let's see if I can sleep powder you. It seems like a good idea. Alright, is that killing? That might, that might, that might, that might. Oh, no, it didn't. Alright, cool. Sleep powder, that's cool. Alright, um... What do I need to do? I mean, I'm, I'm out of options here. I'm really out of options here, kind of. Um, I could go into Pokemon and go into, uh, go into, ooh, I'm really out of options now. Far out. I'm really running out of choice right now. Okay, I need to heal up um, someone on a bag. I need turns to heal people up. I get revive. I need to revive um, Thunderball, definitely. Okay, did you, don't tell me you woke up. There's no way you're going to wake up first turn. Thank you. Thank God for that. Alright, cool. Um, I don't mind using um, Ivysaur's Porter right now. I just need to definitely just heal up my mom with these few turns that I'm getting with the, you know, the sleep and all that. Okay, uh, wait, hold on, what's that? What does that do? Let's have a look. I, I received this from, um, from Blue in the, re in the previous episode. It was kind of like, maybe it was kind of, oh, Jesus. Oh, crap. Oh, well, well it looks like I'm dead. Um, I guess I, you know, I use those turns effectively to, you know, get Pikachu back into prime condition, obviously, so I can have actually some hope of defeating this gym leader, because obviously the turn so he's giving me a bit of problems right now, not a bunch, but he's giving me a little bit, anyway. Alright, go, um, double kick. Go, go, go. Ayacha! Ayacha! Alright, cool, that did a bit. Alright, that's that does, that seems to do enough. Okay, Thunderbolt, how much is that doing? I mean, it's not very effective. Still does a little bit though. All right, go for another double kick because that's probably my best option here to lower your health. All right, bam and bam. Oh darn it! I just got a coffee and it's gone cold all of a sudden. That's annoying. Anyway, um, I'm tempted to go for the quick attack, but I don't know if that's gonna kill. Ooh, that's rough. Um, you know what I'm gonna go for? It. I'm gonna gamble it. Worst comes to worst, I'll just go into Reddit and use another quick attack. There we go. Risk pays for reward, that's what they say sometimes. Anyway, it looks like it works for me. How have I not leveled up at all? He's so frustrated, look at him! Wow, that 
a shocker! Of course it is. I mean, you're in an electric gym later and you obviously lost and you're shocked because you lost against me. Oh, Ratatouille is evolving! Oh, nice. What do you evolve into? You evolve into Rattata, right? Yeah, so... That's cool. Rattata is gonna be the next Ratatouille dish on my plate. That is also disgusting. I don't like Ratatouille as a dish. It's really not my favourite dish at all. I hate it. Ratatouille as a dish is something I really dislike. But, I mean, it's just a good name for, some, for a mom like this, you know? Alright, here we go. Nice, Gary. We've got all that. Alright, what are you gonna say? He looks triggered as hell. He looks so mad. He's like, I can't believe I lost to this impudent little kid over here. I can't believe it. I, my pride has been stolen. My warrior's pride, my fighting pride as a lieutenant has been stolen by this child. Find them. Take a thunder branch. Ah, <laughs> What a clap. That was nice. All right. You got a thunder badge from Lieutenant Surge. And that's not all. You're special, kid. Take this. You got Lieutenant Surge autograph. Oh, nice. Looks like I'm... You know, it looks like I'm up for it. Looks like I'm ready. Ah, don't worry. That's not all I'm going to give you. And I got the Thunderbolt team. Nice. Awesome. A very good stab electric type move. About time. Teach it to an electric type Pokemon for some extra shock value. Ha, 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 ha. I like that. Lieutenant Surge seems like a cool guy, I like him, he's, he's probably one of my favourite Gen 1, you know, you know, gym leaders, definitely. His hairstyle is obviously, you know, very resemblant of what gym leader he is, especially like I'm Volkner from Generation 4. If you haven't played Generation 4, it's pretty weird, because in most games, oh, Misty, oh, it's you again, oh, jeez, what's Misty doing here? Oh, wow, so you beat Lieutenant Surge, you must be pretty good. Glad to see you've really learned, you're really learning a thing or two. And your Pokemon must have tried their best. Nice, you healed me. Oh, thank you, Misty. What are you doing in this part of town anyway? Oh, me? I'm going swimming in the sea. There are times when you just want to break free from a puny little pool and swim in the big ocean. That makes sense. Where are you headed next? Have you been to Diglett's Cave? It's pretty close by. If you haven't been, I could show you the way. Want a guide? Yeah, sure, why not? I've got no nothing better to do, I suppose. Alright, so where do I go? Okay, you're just gonna show me where it is. Alright, it's down this way, apparently. Okay, cool. Misty, this is Diglett's cave. Okay, wait, sorry, what am I saying? Diglett dug, Diglett dug this cave path all on their own. Wow, that's insane! Okay, see ya. Be sure to meet lots of Pokemon. Of course I will! That's something, that's something that a tour guide should know, like, hey, you know, a tour guide should definitely know that, you know, obviously, um, I don't know, what am I saying? I'm saying that a tour guide should probably and most definitely know that a, um, you know, that Diglett's, you know, did that, because that would be a really cool, interesting fact to tell, you know, tourists when they came, when they come and want to be guided around the, you know, the cities and all of that around Kanto. That would be a cool little tidbit to tell your, you know, tourists and stuff. Imagine being a tour guide around, you know, Kanto, or around, you know, Pokemon regions. That'd be so sick. And here we have a wild Zekrom. Oh, shit, run! <laughs> oh, that'd be so funny. Now, I think I'm going to go up to this route here, just up ahead, so I can catch a lot of mons, so I can eventually, you know, obviously, so I can obviously, you know, get the Squirtle from, from Officer Jenny. So, you know, then I can obviously get one, you know, a Pokemon that's obviously, you know, you know, a solid member of my team, to say. Okay, hold on. Alright, alright. This is probably going to be actually pretty hard. Hold on. Oh, Jesus! Okay, hold on, hold on. thing is, Abras are actually pretty hard to catch. I'm not going to lie. They're not the easiest things to catch in the world, definitely. They have definitely got their struggles and make, you know, things that make it hard, you know, definitely. Alright, honestly, right now, I must have a solid, like, 50 so mons, so it shouldn't be that hard to, you know, get 60. So I probably only have to catch about, like, 4 or so. Flamethrower! Let's go! Flamethrower! Yes! Goodbye, Ember, you piece of weak scum! Come here, you beautiful throwing of flames! Beautiful blazingness! Yeah! Come on, let's get it! Alright, flamethrower time! Finally! Jeez, yes! Flamethrower! Yes! Hold on, what are you guys? Are you guys something? Oh, well, oh yeah, this is the route I was already previously on. That's right, I was already on this route. I'm in the previous episode, this was one of the routes I went through. 
and did some stuff. Okay, cool, so you're a person I can fight. That's cool, alright, you're a Sentru. That's nice, alright, Ratatouille is... Oh, yeah, Ratatouille's out. I, I almost forgot that you evolved, so it looked weird at first. I was like, what? I didn't know Ratatouille was like this. I thought he was a, you know, small purple rat. Now he's this, you know, huge rat instead. Okay, cool. Alright, Scratch. Ooh, ooh, ooh ah, that did nothing, son. You're gonna have to get a little... You're gonna... Ooh, crunch him, crunch him, go! Nom, nom! Oh, that was delicious. Alright, no, it wasn't. That was actually disgusting. Who eats armadillo? I don't know anybody who eats armadillo, but anyway, let's go. Quick attack! Paja! Paja! Alright, you're dead. See ya. Hope it was fun fighting against Alpha Blazing Powerfulness. I mean, you can't win against Alpha Blazing. It's pretty hard. I mean, here's one of the most experienced um, people throughout the Kanto land. Alright, let's um, stay in and see what you've got. You've got a Nidoran male. Nidoran male. That's pretty cool. Alright, I wish I had one of those. I mean, I don't have one, unfortunately. Because I'd really like to get a Nidoran King at some point. I mean, obviously he's not part of our main squadron, but he, he would be a really cool person to have, definitely. Without a doubt. Okay. Cool, let's do that. Go Super Fang. Ja! But ja! Alright, nice, nice, nice. Alright, cool. Double kick. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna hurt, actually. That's gonna hurt a bit. Ooh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm. Ta I don't know if a Super Fang's gonna kill. I mean, a Crunch might. Let's have a look. Crunch, are you gonna kill? Do it, do it, do it. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, good on ya. Awesome. Alright, Nidoran male got taken down. Nice. Alright, cool. Anybody gonna level up? Nope. Okay, Ricky, I think that's said. Alright, see ya, Ricky. Hey, Ricky, you so fun. No, it's, I think it's Hey, Nicky, you're so fun, that song. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Alright, let's go up ahead. I don't think I can go up this way. Oh, this is just going backwards if I go this way. I remember that right. Yeah, yeah, This is just going backwards, back to, um, somewhere different. Just back through. Yeah, that's just going backwards. That's not actually how... That doesn't have any value doing that. I just realised. Okay, cool. Um... Let's find some other monster catch. Oh, you're there. Alright, Ratatouille 2.0. Let's go. Hold on, was that a, um... Did I see a Growlithe up there? Maybe I did. Hold on, let's, um... Yep, cool. Three, two, one. Oh, that was way off. What am I doing? Hold on. Three... Oh, wait. Okay, you're gonna attack? You're gonna do that? Three, two, one. Okay, that was too soft. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Three... Oh my god, don't do that. Okay, hold on. Three, two, one. Yes, excellent! Ha <laughs> ha! It's all, it's all about the timing. I mean, the timing for getting excellent isn't even that hard. I mean, I've just got it nailed. I just know how to do it. You just gotta get that, you know, you just gotta get the flick right and you just gotta know when to throw it. It's just pretty straightforward, honestly. Alright, Ivysaur's 22 now. That's good. Ivysaur wanna learn takedown. Yes, definitely get rid of tackle because tackle is pretty shocking compared to takedown, obviously. So let's get rid of tackle, get takedown. And so we can take down some scum, some scum bums, anyway. Cool, takedown for Ivysaur. And Thunderball's 24 now! Jesus, Thunderball's doing stuff. Slam! Ooh, I don't know about that one. Slam, slam, slam. Um, I think Double Team's been pretty useless for me recently, so I might delete it. It's done nothing for me, so far. I've used it a bunch of times, but everybody still keeps hitting. I just, I don't see the purpose of having it anymore, because I've just, it's never been of any use. So why would it be of any use now, I suppose? Alright. Yeah. Oh my god, you freaking scum. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was great, that was great. Alright, you guys, you you beautiful blazes know what that means. Great times great equals amazing enough for blazes, so let's catch. Yeah! I think I only need like four more mons and then I should be good. I should stop saying like, you know. People in 2018, well not people 2018, just this generation that I'm in right now, we've gotten to the, into this habit of saying like unnecessarily and obviously you know everybody's parents are all over it like hey stop saying like in the middle of the sentence without any context and all that stuff i try my best not to but sometimes it just slips out because you just hear it everywhere everyone's saying like in the middle of the sentence for no reason it's just really annoying i want to stop it because i know it sounds dumb and just unintellectual and really dumb and stuff so i want to stop doing it but it's really hard sometimes you know it's really annoying. I really don't want to do it, but sometimes it just slips out unnecessarily. It's just annoying, but I'm sure I'll eventually, you know, I'll get out of that habit, just like other habits that are really annoying sometimes, you know. You've got your little habits that you, you do that you hate and stuff. Comment below, you beautiful blazers, or anybody who's watching this right now, any, you know, stupid habits that you have you wish you didn't have and you want to get rid of as soon as you can. And if you, you know, maybe, I, I don't know, you can think of also, you know, put down maybe a solution for them and then all that sort of jazz. That sounds like a good idea. Alright, awesome, I'll catch this one. 
and then I'll catch that big Growlithe I saw just then, and then I'll go to Officer Jenny and see if that's enough mons to get the Squirtle. I've already got a few nicknames in mind. I mean, I've got two, actually. I've got two nicknames in mind, which is good. Oh, my God, I burped. That's not... That, that's a foul and two shots there to, um... To, um, the computer and to the Switch. So, you know, have your two shots and hopefully get them in and make the most of them. Alright, cool. That was an excellent... That was slightly off the, um, the bubble moving in, so that's unfortunate. Or the circle, the bubble, whatever. Alright, well, you're gonna be difficult, just like the one I originally caught. Alright. Bam! Excellent! Okay. If that doesn't catch, then that's tragic. An excellent off a great ball doesn't catch you. That is sad. Thank you. If you didn't catch, you would have to be just so, so, so dog. I mean, literally, you are a dog. So, I mean, you'd have to be more dog than you already are, which is pretty hard. But, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright. Let's go check on Officer Jenny and see if that is enough mons. Oh, hello. I did not want to encounter you. Thank you. Goodbye. I hope you have a great day. Just lying there in the grass and just not having any sort of um, elevation off the ground at all. Alright, let me just heal my mons quick. Oh, no. I'll just talk to you. Here we go. I just caught this squirtle. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, it needs a good trainer. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, 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 yes. How many mons do I have? I probably have enough. Wow, you've caught 63. Yep, cool. Three over the limit. That's cool. Nice. Yes, yeah, so of course I love this squirtle. Okay, please take good care of Squirtle. Of course I'll take good care of Squirtle. Of course. Alright, cool. So I've got Squirtle now. Yeet. Okay, what level is it? Alright, I want to find out what level it is. Awesome. Wait, hold on. Shoots water at prey while in the water. Wait, hold on. Let's have a look at this description. Shoots water at prey while in the water. Withdraws into its shell when in danger. Okay, yep. I've, that... that I think that just suits this thing's name even better. Like, the withdraws into, um, you know, shell when in danger. I think you guys know where I'm going with this, but I've got two names in mind, and, um, you know, both of them are really good, but I think the one I'm going to use is probably better. I mean, I'll tell you the other one, because obviously I want you guys to have a say in what I call my mons, and if you'd prefer the other one, that's obviously your opinion, and you can comment below saying, oh, I'd prefer that one. So I'm going to change your name, and your name is going to be... Your name is going to be, uh... Koopaling. Because obviously of the whole retreating into shell and danger. You know when um, Mario Bros, you've got the Koopalings, and when you fight them, whenever you pounce on their head as Mario, they, um, you know, they, you know, they um, retreat into their shell because obviously they're... You know, obviously, they obviously want to be protected and barricaded away from Mario's lethal and stinky shoes, so that's fair enough. Anyway, you've got Koopaling, and the other name I had thought, and, you know, I, the, the other name that my, you know, the other name I had in mind was, um, you know, uh, Shady, Shady Turtle, you know the, if you've heard of a YouTuber called, um, Shady Penguin, it's pretty much a joke on that, Shady Turtle, because, you know, from the anime you had the, um, you had the Squirtle who was, um, who was, uh, you know, a part of the, you know, the, the Shady Squirtle gang, you know, that, that, those, those turtles, that were wearing the shades and, you know, were all slick and slide and whatever, all of that stuff. And they, you know, were thugs and stole from people and were cheeky and all that jazz. And I love those guys. So if you'd prefer that name, or you beautiful blazers, or anyone else watching for that matter, comment below and tell me that you'd prefer the name, um, you know, the name, you prefer that name over this one. But I think this name's pretty good. I like the name Koopaling. Let me check what level you are and what moves you, um, have in your acquisition so I can, you know sort of have an idea of how much training you need. You are level 16, so one more level and you will evolve. That is good to hear. All right, I will check your summary. All right, cool, move summary. You've got, wait, do you have a move summary? Wait, hold on. Yeah, move summary, you've got bubble, withdraw. Oh yeah, that moves all right. Um, tail whip and tackle. All right, cool, fair enough. All right, so a few more levels and you will definitely evolve without a doubt. That is nice, okay, cool. All right, now let's go back this way. Back to where we were before. All right, we've just got some, you know, some boxes. Oh, nice. All right, cool. Full heal. I'll take those. I'll take those. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, cool. Who are you? What have you got to say? You got something to say to me? This is my land. All of it. I own everything in this square area here. I'm having a... I'm having my Pokemon use Bulldoze to prepare the site so I can build something here. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Hey, Machop. Machop. Okay. Machomp is stomping at the ground to, you know, clear the land of all that stuff. Fair enough. I like that. Okay, cool. Go down this way, and this is the route. This is how to get down to, um, 
this was how to get down to, yes, to Diglett Cave. Yes, okay, now let's go and look over, over this side and see what we have. Okay, we got you. What mons can we, can we get? All right, we've got, that's a, that's a Pidgey, am I right? Or is that a Fero? Oh, I didn't want to encounter you. That's unfortunate. I honestly can't see what mon that is from here. Hold on, let me have a look closer at the TV. Oh, that's just a Pidgey. That's just an abnormally sized Pidgey. All right, that's all good. Okay, that's nothing too incredible. All right, I've got my Pidgeotto. I've got me, yeah, I've got a Pidgeotto, so that's nothing to me, honestly. All right, cool. What have you got there? You've got a Volpix. That's cool. All right, well, I've got a, uh, I've got a Ratatouille. You know, a delicious Ratatouille. Not really. I hate Ratatouille, as I've already stated a bunch of times, but, you know... Anyone who likes Ratatouille, I've got nothing against you. It's probably delicious to some people, but I despise it, so that's fair. I call Ember. Oh, you little weakling. I had Ember ages... Uh, no, that's a lie. I had Ember a little bit ago, and I in this episode, I got Flamethrower. Level up! Get freaking Flamethrower! And do some more damage, you weakling. Okay, I'm being too harsh on this Volpix. It's innocent. He just wanted to fight me. That's fair enough. All right, see ya. All right, what else have we got along this route? What else have we got? I want to check over further down this route, or does the route come to an abrupt end somewhere and then I just have to turn back? What the hell are you? Are you some miner or something? Like, what sort of gear is that? Oh, you must be a park ranger of some hybrid. Um, let me turn over this way. Another pitch. Mr. Mime? That looks so weird, just Mr. Mime just walking casually like that. Mr. Mime looks like a, um, just looks like a weird humanoid just walking like that. Okay, that was weird. Okay, that was a bad throw. Um, hold on, three, two, one. Oh, that was a shotgun throw. All right, cool. Yep. Oh, what am I doing? That was a shotgun throw. All right. Oh um, no, that was bad. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I'm out of um, I'm out of great balls. That's annoying. Hold on, how do I throw on an angle? I'm gonna throw on an angle. All right, go, go, go. Yep. Oh my god. What if I want to throw on an angle? Can I not do that? Can I not throw on angles? That's so stupid. Anyway, whatever, it should be fine. All right, three. I think that's not a catch. What? How did that catch? What the hell? Anyway, I guess I'll count it. I mean, it was a catch after all. I mean, a weird catch at that, but a catch nonetheless. Pretty weird, but whatever, Trevor. And I, I, I'm really confused, man. I don't know how that was a catch in any regard of life, but I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. And that is a Pidgey, and that is a... Oh, you scumbag. I didn't see you at all. That is pretty annoying. Oh, this phone is going nuts. I'm, going, I'm on this, like, ch this group of chat. It's really, you know, I've got this group chat for, like, me and my friends, and we just, you know, go out and just, you know, to organize, like, catch-ups and stuff. It's, it, it, it's good, but sometimes, you know, you just get bombarded with just, you know, messages, and you're just like, shut the freaking hell up sometimes, you know? It's just really annoying. You know, sometimes you're just like... Freaking stop! Maybe I should do that. Maybe next time they text, maybe next time they stop. Um, maybe, no, not next time they stop. What am I on about? Maybe next time they, you know, constantly, you know, next time they text, like, a lot. You know, next time there's another round of texting on, and, you know, unnecessarily, just, you know, whatever they say, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know, they've already organized something, so it's not like they're talking about anything about, you know, like, you know, about, the, you know, meeting up or whatever. They're just talking about, you know, just whatever else. So I'll just say... Freaking stop! I'm in the middle of recording! I'll probably say something along those lines anyway, okay? X defense. Oh my god, those are useless. Okay, I guess I'll take it though. Alright, they just meshes me again. Okay, okay, I can take it. Alright, oh, um, I don't want to talk to you at all. Um, I'm just gonna get this Pokeball and be on my way. I'm just gonna go along this route and see what I can find. And by the end of it, I will, you know, obviously, you know, not go any further. Okay, there's a revive. That's cool. Alright, I'm gonna fight you, and then I can go through that door and do something, I suppose. Okay, yep, I can do that. I'm gonna check around this fence line here, because I believe there might be an item at the end of it. I raised my Pokemon carefully. They should be really good by now, or something really... They should be ready by now, I think she said. Yep, that's right. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Well, what Pokemon are ready by now? Is it a... Oh, Jigglypuff. Okay. That's alright, I can take a Jigglypuff. Alright, what are you going to pull out? Ready to eat? Yep, good. Okay, um, what level are you? You are level 16. That's weird, okay, because the gym leader itself was like level what? I don't know, what else? The gym leader was level, what am I on about? The gym leader was level 25 Pokemon, and now you're pulling out level 16. That's pretty weird. Anyway, because, you know, the gym leader's obviously like 9 levels ahead of you, so that's pretty obscure. Anyway, that's defense curl. Which is fine because I've got flamethrower and that's especially defensive and obviously fire 
has, it's not super effective, but it's, you know, it's more effective than, you know, it's better than neutral against fairy types, obviously. Okay, cool, that did a butt ton, that sh honestly should have killed, but it didn't somehow. Do you quick attack? No, you don't, you do not. Okay, let's go for takedown, just for why not sake. Uh, cool, that's going to do a little recoil, at, you know, for not much damage, but that's okay, should be fine. Alright, cool, nice. You're dead. Do you have anything else for me, or is that it from you? Okay, I don't know what that was. I didn't look properly. Okay, Nidorina, huh? Alright, I can take you. I can take you on, right? Um, what am I using? Takedown, alright. Oh, I missed. That's, um... Oh, that's bad. Okay, I can take that. I can take that. Ooh, yes, I can take that belly. Alright, cool. I can take about probably two or more of those. No, I can take one more of those, and then I'll probably die after that, maybe. Alright, cool. The flamethrower, how much is that doing? That's doing a... Fair chunk, alright, cool. Okay, that's a bit of an ouch, okay. I don't know if a double kick will kill from that range. It might do. We'll have a look. Alright, nice, that was beautiful. That was delicious. What a delicious flavour that was. That was cookies and cream and caramel and all the rest of it put together. Alright, nice Mandrake is level 24. Nice, we're getting us some nice levels here. Alright. Now let's check around this fence line. I knew it! There's always items around fence lines, usually. Oh, five great balls! Nice! 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 Damn, alright, what's up this way? Can I go this way? Or am I not permitted to? Oh, I can! Cool. What's up this way? What's this town? Is this a town? Uh, where am I? Uh, I am in Route 12. Okay, that is bizarre. Alright, I don't think I'm meant to be here yet. I don't think so. I think I was meant to go through Diglett Cave and do all that. Alright, well I can go up here and see what's up here. There must be something. Alright, cool, we've got you guys up here. Alright, what have you got to say, Professor? Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. The Professor told me that if your Pokedex has good data on 30 species of Pokemon, I'm to give you the judge fa fu function. So, Alpha Blazing, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on at least 30 species of Pokemon? Yes, obviously. I should have done. I mean, if I haven't. Let's see. Oh, you've only caught 29 different... Ooh, I need to catch one more, and then I can unlock the judging feature, which, you know, judges the Pokemon stats. I want to head to Lavender Town, but there's this huge Pokemon in the way. Sound, sound asleep. Oh, that sounds like a Snorlax to me. But, um, I could probably deal with... Oh, okay, I didn't want to do that. Sounds like a Snorlax. I need to catch one more breed, one more type of Pokemon. And then... From there, actually, let's go along Route 12 and find another species of Pokemon. And from there, we can hopefully find the Judge feature, and then I'll end off the episode. Oh, crap. Okay, that's why. Wait, hold on a minute. Oh, I, I thought that trainer over there was blue for a second. Okay, that's a, uh, that's fast asleep Snorlax. Okay, I think I need to get the, um, Poke Flute from someone. I know I need the Poke Flute, but from who I'm gonna get it, I cannot say. It's probably from uh, someone through Diglett Cave or something, I don't know. But I need to catch another breed of, you know, another, well not another breed, another species of Pokemon. Oh, I don't think I've caught a Drowsy yet. I don't know if I have. I mean, I'll try and catch it and then see. I'm not sure. I'll have a look. If I, if I have caught it, then that's good. But if I haven't, that's fine also, I suppose. Alright, that should maybe catch, I don't know. Because if I catch you, I can then see if I've caught 30 types. I don't know if I've already caught a drowsy. I might have already caught one. If I haven't, then that's perfect. Then that's my 30, and then that, then that's the episode done and dusted, all there. All good and great, and gracious, and goodness, and all that beautiful blazingness, awesomeness. Alright, cool. That was a bunch of, you know, uh, rhyming there. Oh, gee, oh, I didn't want to encounter you. Okay, Koopaling's level 17, and he's going to evolve. Definitely. Yeah, Koopaling, you're going to turn into a war turtle. Hopefully get water gun or some awesome... Move uh, out of that, awesome! I'm, I just can't get over this evolving animation, it's so beautiful! Those clouds, it's just, oh the skies, it's just way better than all of the other evolution screams. It's just so much better. It's just brighter and more colourful and more beautiful than any of the other ones. Alright, cool! Alright, that should be good. That should be 30 actually, if you think about it, because 30 different species. Does that mean 30 different evolution chains? Or does that mean 30 different separate mons all together? Because if it meant 30 different separate mons, then I would have it, but I think it means 30 different, you know, breed lines. I think so. I'm pretty sure. Alright, cool. I'm pretty sure I should. 
Does it look like I do? Hold on. Great! You've caught 31 species. Yes, okay, I just caught one. Nice. So I just caught a drowsy and a war turtle. Yeah, so that counts, I think. Yeah, cool. So now I have to judge. View a Pokemon summary via your Pokemon box and you'll be able to see their potential. Alright, cool. So now I have the judge feature. That's cool. Nice. Okay, maybe I should end off the episode out by the end of... Out by Snorlax. That looks like a good spot to end off an episode. Just right by Snorlax. You know, Snorlax can just be a, you know, a lovely end point here. You know, I'll just... You know, I probably have to go through Diglett Cave, so I'll probably, you know, I'll just end it here anyway, because here looks like a good spot, just by this sleeping beast right here. So if you have enjoyed this video, please blaze like button with your five fingers, just put the face, if we can reach five likes, that'd be awesome, my button can blow blazing! Please place it up in the comment section below, let me know any suggestions you may have, to how I can improve the of my videos, or anything positive you wish to tell me about I'm doing well. Please share this series with your friends and others you may know, when you enjoy it, who will really enjoy this Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu, and also, we'd really like a person, a person, who, no, come on, who would enjoy, someone who would enjoy a personality like mine, jeez, this caffeine is really getting into my head, <laughs> Please hit the notification bell so you never miss out on anyone who's awesome videos, and the police subscribe for more great gaming content, like obviously more of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Super Smash Bros Ultimate, and Splatoon 2 gameplay, and Splatoon 2 Splatfest. If you are unaware, my goal for this year used to be hitting 100 subscribers, Obviously I'm only at 38 now and it's pretty much the end of the year, so that's useless and pretty much a futile effort. But, I've changed my goals. If we can at least hit 40 subs or even exceed it, I will make you guys a special Funny Flash Rage compilation video for, by the end of this year if we either hit 40 subscribers or exceed it. So if you're, so just two beautiful people have to hit that red blazing voluptuous blazing button that you will know and love. I said blazing twice, doesn't matter. If all just two people have to do that, just two people watching have to say, hey, this guy looks okay. Just hit the button, come on, and then you'll get a special video. If you're an existing beautiful blazer watching this, you guys know a way to help. You guys can obviously share this video or just share any of my videos around and say, hey, this guy is pretty funny. I don't know, just do something like that. So if you want that video desperately, you guys know how to help. So until next time, guys, this is Alphazine.